So the paper, uh, the research paper, which is talking about this uh, chanting process. So the Maha Mantra referred to in this uh, research paper is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So this HKM, or in short, it is written the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So this is a research paper from IIT Indo, from the Department of Electrical Engineering in IIT Indo. So this research, you can see here, mainly I'll show you the conclusion of this research. Then you can understand what the research is all about. So here, the electronic signals, the EEG signals, are measured, have been measured for a person who is uh, chanting this Maha Mantra. And uh, then subsequent uh, results were shown. So there were many experimental setup and uh, different EEG signals were calculated with amplitude and different mathematical calculations were done. So after that, the conclusion the conclusion, let us come to the conclusion. Here you can see the effect of HKM chanting on EEG signal appears to be in favor of human brain. EEG oscillatory changes, including the increase in the alpha band power and decrease in the beta band power are probable indication of reduced stress, anxiety and elicit the relaxing and calm state of mind. So these are the main effects, reduced stress, anxiety, and a relaxing and calm state of mind. This represents a basic study for improving the mental health through HKM meditation. So this study uh, has been, uh, it tried to reveal the effect of 108 time that is one round of HKM chanting on EEG signal. So this is the research done in IIT Indo. So another research paper I will show, which is from medical journal. So this is a medical journal and this research uh, has been done on the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, the Mahamantra chanting. So HKM, so here you can see this is the original article effect of Mahamantra chanting on the autonomic and cognitive functions and interventional study. So here I will show the research. This research was done in the nurses in a hospital. So the nurses are always in a lot of stress and the Effect of chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra or the Mahamantra on, on a set of nurses or a group of nurses have been studied here in this uh, medical journal and the results uh, have been mathematically explained and then the conclusion, let us come to the conclusion. So here you can see this indicates that these nursing professionals with moderate to severe stress are prone for autonomic dysfunction at a later date and are also at an increased risk of developing lifestyle disorders such as diabetes, obesity, sleep disturbances and other cardiovascular and neurological disorders. They can reduce their risk with the Mahamantra intervention. So the Mahamantra, when they chanted the Mahamantra, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, all these factors, the lifestyle disorder diseases, the diseases which are caused by lifestyle disorder like uh, diabetes, obesity, sleep disturbances, many cardiovascular and neurological disorders happen due to lifestyle, uh, lifestyle imbalance. So there have been a great reduction in these things by the Mahamantra intervention. That means when they started to chant the Mahamantra, 
So this is a medical journal which is clearly showing the benefit of the chanting of the Mahamantra. So I'll come back to the PPT. Here I will show another research. So another scientific research on the effects of Mahamantra done by Dr. Uh, David B. Olf from Sadvatov Institute. Uh, he studied the effect of the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra on stress, depression, and the three gunas, or the mode of lifestyle. So what he found, let us uh, see. So this is uh, how he did his research. There was a group of 31 males and 31 females. And they chanted the Hare Krishna Mahamantra every day. And then the clinical uh, results on stress, depression, and the lifestyle, mode of nature or the mode of lifestyle that was uh, studied. So these three group groups, so total 31 males and 31 females, it makes 62 total. So these 62 persons were divided into three groups. The first group chanted the Mahamantra regularly, every day. The second group chanted another mantra. And the third group did not chant any mantra, but artificially tried to control their mind. So let us see the research outcome. So research outcome in terms of stress, depression, and increase in sattva. Increase in sattva means a good lifestyle, balanced lifestyle. So here you can see in this research outcome that decrease in stress, the highest number, the highest outcome happened to Mahamantra group. Decrease in depression, that also Mahamantra group. An increase in Sattva, in that also the Mahamantra group is way, way ahead. So here the research clearly indicates how, uh, how the chanting of this Mahamantra helps in uh, not only decreasing stress, depression, but increasing our uh, physical and mental health and improving our balanced lifestyle. So in all round development, the opportunity is there with the Mahamantra intervention.